Welcome back to Give the Common Game. Today we have got the Nekuzar deck that I have been playing against. This is my good friend Danny's his his Nekuzar build. Now this is not the cutthroat Nekuzar like gonna yeah, but I like what he's done with it because it's very multifaceted here. So Nekuzar. Of course, uh, this is the Grixis Crayon in the box. Uh, at the beginning of each player's draw, Stout and Wine Breed, and everybody knows what Nekuzar does. Uh, everybody draws an additional card, and then when an opponent draws a card, Nekuzar deals one damage to that player. So, your typical Nekuzar decks, you, <laughs> you force a bunch of draw. But first, let's look at the ramp, shall we? He has two pieces. He has the Arcane Signet and the world's most beautiful Soul Ring I've ever seen. Oh, oh, I love it. But let's get straight into the card draw. Um, uh, now, in addition to Nekuzar, he is running Underworld Dreams and Fate Unraveler. So, you know, stack up that damage. But then there is an insane amount of... Of card draw as and really the card draw makes up for the uh, the mana fixing because uh, once you're drawing that many cards you tend to always have a land to drop granted you're still going at one turn but anyway we have vision schemes one heck of a card it's perfect for Nikki's our decks of the world Atlas <laughs> I, lo I love wheel of deal uh, yeah, just any number of... Yeah, and then they draw seven. Yeah. Uh, of course, the good old Howling Mine. Windfall. Collective Defiance. Uh, that's, yeah. Temporal Cascade. But this is what you're here for, right? Wheel of Fortune. Diminishing Returns. Wheel of Fate, Winds of Change, Font of Mythos. I love compulsive research. Uh, I just realized when I was stacking these cards out, that says target player. That's beautiful. Uh, Jace's Archivist, uh, equal to the greatest number of cards. Man, I love that card. Uh, strategic Planning. Good old Jace Balerian himself. And then the beautiful Dictate of Crufix. Um, like I said, a lot of card draw. Uh, and some things that aren't quite card draw, but yet they're kind of. I mean, Bolus the Citadel, you're not drawing cards, but you have access to more than you would. Uh, the Vampiric Tutor is going to go get that whatever he wants. Um, now, I have... Just enchantments here. Um, first and foremost, ooh, Phyresis on Nekuzar is rough. I'm telling you. That is, ooh. Um, it, instead of, of them having to draw, you know, 40 cards, they have to draw 10. Yeah, that's, uh, it's nasty. Um, let's go to the rest of these enchantments. Propaganda, so everybody's not hitting him. Uh, Curse of Obsession. I started reading this, and I was like, well, this is not that bad. Uh, you know, is, it, is this one of those good ones? And then I went, oh, discard their hand? Ooh, that's rough. Uh, Vow of Lightning. Uh, Waste Knot. Uh, typically, he has a lot of, like, when you discard things, because he's forcing so much draw that a lot of decks can't keep up and they just have to discard. Um, the Dictate of Erebos, Megram, and Tainted Remedy round out the enchantments. Now, uh, creatures. Archetype of Imagination is just a beautiful card, especially, you know, it just says all your creatures can't be blocked. Psychosis Crawler, probably the real MVP. Mental note, do not put your Phyresis on the... Uh, the psychosis crawler because this says loses life not deals damage so I mean 
it would still be pretty big, but it's not going to accomplish what we... Uh, we have Kalidus. Uh, Brash Taunter and Stuffy Doll. You know, just needing blockers out there. Because that's the thing. People try to come at Nekuzar as much as possible. So that, that's why he has all of these creatures. And all, all these creatures are pretty good. You know, Tainted Adversary. Arjun. Whenever you cast a spell, put the cards in your hand on the bottom and then draw that many cards. Man, if you've got that Psychosis Crawler out, it's a beast. Uh, Dothy Voidwalker. Carter. Niv Mizzet the Fire Mine. The original Niv Mizzet, of course. Uh, yeah, I mean, just one damage to any target. Opposition Agent. Mirko Vosk. While we're here at Mirko Vosk, um, <laughs> the milling thing. He has a slight milling theme through here. He's got the Mirko Vosk Mind Grind. Uh, I think all the rest of it could be conditional, you know. Uh, Thief of Sanity, uh, Etrada. That's. I like the frame on the black and white cards. That's that's about it. But Gisa is <laughs> she is glorious. Um, yeah, you get them. Yeah, Zerzoth, Chaos Rider. Whenever opponent draws their first card each turn, if it ain't their turn, you get devils. And then, whenever one or more devils you control attack, you and those players draw a card and discard a card at random. So, you know, hey. Then we have the Haunt of Hightower. There again, both of those cards going in on the discard theme. Uh, Perplex. Counter target spell, unless they drop their hand. Uh... I've noticed sometimes that's a hard decision for the player. <laughs> um, Phyrex and Metamorph just being whatever it is you want it to be. Now, y'all remember that uh, Brash Tonner and Stuffy Doll? Brash Shield makes it really good. Yeah. Uh, he has Teferi, Temporal Archmage. Uh, Untapped for permanence is what I mainly see him use this for. Uh, role reversal. Now, keep in mind that um, <laughs> I, I, I know this doesn't look like a card that would belong in a, a Nekuzar deck, but uh, I, I haven't talked to Danny about this card, but I can tell you uh, we are all kind of agents of chaos. <laughs> and this is one of those cards that is outstanding. Uh, it can really throw a wrench in two players' plans, you know. I like it. Good old-fashioned Torment of Hellfire when you absolutely positively got to <laughs> got to kill every... Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then we have Removal. <clears throat> Miss Removal herself, the Massacre Girl. Um, most times, it's just a board wipe. Uh, Chaos Warp to get rid of those indestructible things. Uh, Damnation, Blasphemous Act, Vandal Blast, Imprison in the Moon. This you never realize how good this is till it gets played on you. I am telling you, um, is a colorless land. You know how hard it is to get rid of one of your own lands when that's not a thing you're trying to do. Uh, it's it m makes your commander in play but useless or whatever the dark steel forager whatever it is you're trying to get rid of and keeps coming back if it's their commander it doesn't put it back in the command zone it just says it is oh it's beautiful archmage's charm uh, we all love choices right uh, sudden death and then void void that price check on register three this is i uh, i'm yeah, you kill everything. This card, I'm surprised, doesn't see more play in Commander. Uh, it is a multiplayer beast uh, because not only do you get everything equal to that number, but then you get to pick out Public Enemy number one and or whoever you think has that number in their hand. 
make them discard here again more discard it's beautiful then he has uh, non basic lands of which there's only seven uh, command beacon reliquary tower gyre reach sanitarium forcing that card draw and then morphic pool creeping tar pit frost boil snarl and shipwreck marsh and that is it like i said it is not the hardcore competitive nekuzar deck that uh uh we are all uh used to it is very good i i don't know i know i've never won against this deck i'm not sure if it has ever lost to be honest with you um devil token you know what he needs that's a foil token he needs to put that in a sleeve there anyway that is it for today i do appreciate it uh thank you danny for letting me uh film your deck i i do this quite a bit and i know a lot of folks um danny builds a lot of decks just like i do uh probably well, probably not as many as what i do but I like putting those out there so that y'all can see just other mindsets on deck building because, you know, I'm going to build it one way. You're going to build it another way. Let's see how somebody else builds it. So, anyway, that's what I've got to do. Appreciate y'all watching. Thank you very much. And uh, we're going to go ahead and shovel and cut.